most clients, like their mums and dads, will go for a normal lender. They will want, you know, bank statements. They want um, pay slips to, to verify your income. That's and then they go right. You want a loan for four hundred thousand dollars. You need to show X amount of dollars as your income. P O Y G. Off you go. That's your your met servicing and and then you know the bank will assess your application. Low doc lenders are there basically. For self-employed people, a lot of clients, self-employed people will write down their income. So if they're earning a certain amount of money, they're reducing this, reducing that. And then at the end of the day, you know, the taxable income is a lot lower, which in turn is going to affect your serviceability. So banks will go basically go, no, you know, you don't earn enough money. But in, in realistically, you know that they are earning a lot more, but they're writing down a, you know, a smaller amount of income. So low doc lenders will require you to get your accountant to verify your income by not providing tax returns and stuff like that. But they will basically say, right, we are declaring this much income and that's what the bank will work off. So it, it does come in handy to, to verify your income. Um, generally, you will need a higher deposit to go down a low doc lender probably 30%, but some of them do 20% uh, deposits and the, the rate will be higher. But once again, if you if you need, you've got a good deal and you, you know you're going to make money on it, you know, it's probably better off to go down that path.